Commercial means eat, to eat. To eat the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Diego Tinoco. And I'm Brett Gray. And we're from On My Block. Hi, I'm Georgina Amoros. Hello, I'm Miguel Bernardo, and we are from Elite. We're here with BuzzFeed UK to guess Spanish slang. But Diego understands perfectly, right? <laughs> yeah, pray, yeah, pray for me. Uh, I'm, I'm going to struggle through this. <laughs> that, that's not true. Uh, the Spanish in Spain is a little bit different than in Mexico. So, you know? Okay. I might, I might be thrown off a little bit. Estar como una cabra. La chupa cabra. <laughs> um, estar uh, como, una, como una cabra. Yes. Um, estar como to be like. I don't know what a cabra is. I've never. A cabra is a goat. Right? Oh, oh, to be the goat. Oh, period. Okay. The greatest of all time. Ooh. You are. Um, you are the goat. You have been goated. It means to be crazy. Oh, oh, never mind. Cool. We're gonna go. Uh, <laughs> cool. Carapan. <laughs> Oof. Dude, I've never heard that one. Carapan. Yo, carapan. Like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> um, it kind of sounds like like baby. Like, oye, carapan, ven pa' acá. You know what I mean? Like, something flirty. Cara means face in Spanish. And pan means bread. Face bread. Okay, you got the money smile. Uh, uh, um, face bread. Uh, yeah, cute cheeks. Um, edible arrangements. I mean, you can use it in many different ways. But um, when I talk to my sister, to my little sister, I can say, Hola, caravan, ¿cómo estás? Ponerse las pilas. What do you think it means? Say it one more time. Ponerse las pilas. What, slower. Um, Ponerse. Las. Las. Pilas. Pilas. Something about the pillars of love. <laughs> um, the, 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 being proud of your pillars. It's to, like, to get on it. Okay. It's like when someone's yeah. being lazy or just, like, kind of ruining something. Uh -huh. It's like, oye, ponte las pilas, man. Like, like get sharp, like, get, you know, like, get, get your, your together yeah okay tener mala leche tener mala leche tener mala leche well, i mean i know what leche it means. means like i'm well, gonna sound really stupid if i don't know no yeah cafe con leche is like yeah, no. coffee with milk yeah. okay okay <laughs> so maybe uh well mala is bad tener mala leche means like have bad milk but i just oh, wonder if I, it's not like that. Bad uh, maybe milk. bad energy. Your breath stinks. <laughs> um, um, some don't cry over spilled milk. No. Um, I feel like it means like bad energy, maybe. Pijo. Pijo. Um, pijo. I would say I've never heard that word either. Maybe like a sounds like a like a schemy kind of person. Pijo, like a, a shady type of person. Yeah, that's what I think. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> yeah. It's an upper class kind of person that oh. dresses up a lot with like high fashion brands and all this kind of stuff. Say it again. Pijo. Pijo. I'm, that's gonna be my Instagram bio. Comerse el coco. Commercial means eat, to eat. To eat the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe to just to, to just uh, to say F it and do it. Commercial coco. You say F it, do it. It actually means to think a lot. Oh, mm. like overthinking. Yeah. Yes. Me cago en la leche. To sh in the milk. <laughs> I think so, bro. I think that's what it means. Can, can I, right? I think, uh, yeah, I think it means to, to uh, in the milk. To sh in the milk. Me cago. In the leche. Like Jeez. to spoil, you're spoiling my vibe. You're, you are kill. It basically translates to don't kill my vibe. I mean, kind of. It it doesn't have like a literal translation, but it's like it's a thing you say when you are like angry and frustrated, and you're like me cago en la leche. Thanks, Buzzfeed UK.